welcome back to my channel. Today I have with me. Oh, I was supposed to say yes. my name. Oh, yes. Emma. <laughs> Emma, she is starting her own YouTube channel, so yes. I will link her below and you can go follow her stuff. Yes. But today we are talking about the top five things we love most about North Carolina, opposed to the top five things we don't like about North Carolina, having both come from California. Yes. Yeah, I think I've been here eight years. How long have you guys been here? Four. Yeah. So we were both born and bred in California. Yes. Um, LA County. Orange County. So I feel like uh, we both can share some uh, some similarities and mm -hmm. and uh, and our experiences since we moved out here. Yes. So I will say I miss living in California, and I would totally live in California despite the five things I'm about to tell you that I like about North Carolina, <laughs> if it wasn't so dang expensive. So which keep that leads in mind. us in well, I miss California, and I miss all the. Um, all the availabilities that are there in California, like beach and uh, mountains and Mexican food, which I really, really miss. Um, but um, everything's just so accessible. We're out here. It's, some things are a little bit farther away, and we'll talk about those things as well. Um, but anyway, so should we just get started? Yes. And talk about them? Okay. So we're talking about the top five things that we love about North Carolina. Yes. All right. You can go number one. First and foremost, there's no traffic here. People say that there's traffic, but it's like, it's, there's no like 91 freeway where that at like on a Sunday at 11 a.m. and everyone's on the same freeway. Like there's none of that. It, the it, five, the four or five. There's none of that. Nope. No. I don't even think our freeways are called freeways here. They're not. We're yeah. supposed to call them highways. Highways. But it's see? all the same. They're free and you can go in any which way you want. <laughs> it's all the same difference. Yeah. But either way. Um, but there's no traffic. Like it starts at five o'clock mm -hmm. when the nine to fivers get off of work and then to about six, six thirty sometimes. Like if it's a yeah. Friday. Um, one of the other things too is that like when you're trying to get away out of town, you can actually leave the day before the holiday. Yeah. Whereas in California, if you've been to Havasu or you're trying to get oh, to the mountain, gosh. you have to leave like three days before yeah. the day that you actually want to be there because then it takes you like a whole day just to travel. So, so true. Yeah. So literally no traffic. No traffic. All right. <laughs> number number two. two. Oh, well, this is hers. This one's more of Emma's so she can do the number two. Which, which one's? Oh, oh. okay. <laughs> do we, we have it in the same order? We don't have it in the same order. That's okay. Um, I love the hiking and the camping that is here. There's a lot of local hiking and camping where like literally I can drive in 30 minutes and get there. There's um, hiking and camping that you pick a day and you go out for the whole day. Uh, one of my favorite spots is Hanging Rock. Um, but yeah, so, so much to do outdoors and, and it's awesome. Like in California, <laughs> if you wanted to kind of do all that stuff, I felt like you had to go further away where you really had to plan it. Um, and we did do some camping in California, but, um, and then Same. outdoors, like if you have kids, like lots of stuff, a lot of farms and, yeah. Oh, yeah. and outdoor things. Yeah. To Side note, if you're in North Carolina, you need to go to Three Bear Acres in Creedmoor. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. Just Google it. It's so cool. That's yeah. one of the outdoors you think. I'm not an outdoors person, but I have two boys, so I'm kind of forced to be an outdoors <laughs> person. Gosh. Even if it's in their backyard. Yeah. They're always outdoors. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of which, one's about to come downstairs. Yeah, he's fighting the nap season right now. Um, so speaking of outdoors, uh, number three. Oh, I love that we have four seasons, and they're mild seasons. We get the fall where all the leaves turn colors, they're orange, and they fall off the trees, and it's so pretty. And then you have the winter, and you get like maybe one, maybe two, this past year, three snowstorms that'll last like two days, and then it melts away, and it's so nice. And then you get your spring, where there's not a lot of bugs out yet. The trees start getting their leaves back. It gets really green. And all your flowers start growing. All your flowers start growing. And then you get to summer, which is not so great because it's little humid but it's only for a season and that's the cool thing is you get all four seasons whereas like in California you get the one that's it yeah which is fine but, but it's, it's pretty, not as exciting yeah well mm -hmm. it's pretty cool to be able to go to the beach in December but in California yes. well, in California yeah because it's like 70 degrees and and 
so you get to enjoy still a lot more outdoor kind of year round, yeah. but it's not the same outdoor. But, but yes. honestly, I don't want to spend my Christmas in shorts and a tank top sweating. I want to wear a mm. scarf and boots and I want to be able to go cozy up under the fireplace and drink my hot cocoa. You know what I'm saying? It's Christmas time. I don't want to be sweating. That's what the I don't are like for. to sweat, <laughs> but then you have to drive far to them. You do. That's the thing. Yeah. Although I do hear we have, I haven't been to the mountains here just yet, but I do hear we have some either. amazing mount like Asheville, Boone. Well, you've been here a long like time. That. You haven't even been to the I mountains. I know. Because we love the beach. We we're, yeah. we love water and we're looking out for lakes and that's things true. like that. Mm -hmm. So that's definitely, I miss me some uh, Lake Havasu from California. So <laughs> um, if I've partied with you there, you know why. <laughs> um, where are we on? Four. Num number four. We can definitely both agree on this one. North Carolina is... Oh, I put that no, in the sorry. Wrong thing. Yeah, okay. we did. North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> we did take notes before we did this, and somehow we're still... Uh, the brain. Yeah. Um, slower pace. Yes. <laughs> and more relaxed in North mm -hmm. Carolina. Like, you can kind of say it's like Sunday driving all the day of the week, every day of the week, but um, but it's just really chill. Like, there's not that, yeah. like, busy, busy, go, go, yeah. um, I gotta be here, I gotta be there kind of thing. At least yeah. that's not how we feel. I mean, we feel... I think it's yeah. pretty universal. Yeah. yeah. I mean, at least for us, because we've been in what a true fast-paced life yeah. is in California, where a lot of people maybe haven't. Yeah. So maybe this feels busy for them. But yeah. for us, we're like, oh, it's slower. It's a yeah. slower piece of life. We love it. I mean, it. we're hanging out on a Friday and two o'clock our time and making this video and we're just chilling yeah just chilling there's mm -hmm. like no no craziness happening so yeah it's pretty awesome Do definitely kind of like it mm -hmm. yeah and you really learned i don't know about you i mean i know you have two kids and you're busy in that sense but like i feel like uh we have really learned to just really relax like mm -hmm. even on our busy days they don't seem so busy yeah. because we actually get days to like actually relax yeah whereas i felt like in california there was no well, because you were always going somewhere meeting up with someone doing something right we're here i don't know why it's not like that but yeah yeah i think it's because of what we're doing like if, yeah. if if rob and i that's my husband we go hiking or camping it's a more relaxed busy thing yeah. like it's a relaxed thing as opposed to like oh, we got to drive all the way to, like, L.A. to, like, go see family. Like, it, oh, that's true. And it takes, yeah, it takes a long no. time to get to all the places that you're trying to go to because of what we said before, the traffic. Yeah. So, so yeah. yeah. There's um, that. Next is the big winner for me anyway. Yeah. Affordability. Yes. You guys, we own a 3,000 square foot home. It's five bedrooms, and I don't say that to brag. I say it so you will get the point across. My apartment in California was a one bedroom apartment, teeny tiny thing. There was a washer and dryer we had to walk outside to and it cost us just about the exact same as what we pay here for a mortgage of this size home. It is literally insane. There is no way we could even afford, like we have two kids, we'd need at least a two bedroom apartment in California. We wouldn't even be able to afford a two-bedroom apartment. We're here. We own a five-bedroom house. Yeah. So if that goes to tell you anything besides that. The gas is so much cheaper here, although right now it's kind of high. I yeah. don't know why. But Cali's back up to four as well. So oh we're my still, gosh. yeah, we're, we're still like halfway. 280 right 280, now. Which that, it's crazy that that's high down. Yeah. <laughs> because we're, we're used to only paying like two, 210. Yeah. So it, like when we're under 250, we're like, yes. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. But I would, I mean, I would have to say the same. When I mean, we pay... We pay for a house, 1,500 square feet home that sits on an acre, and we probably pay the amount of rent that you would pay for, like, a studio apartment in, like, the hood of California. Yeah. So, and we live out in the country, which we totally love. Yeah. They live in this awesome neighborhood, and there's, like, a community. There's, what do you have, swimming pool? Yeah, and... we have a pool and a playground attached. We're right next to a horse ranch, so we just walk over and go pet the horses, and they have goats and sheep and stuff, and it's pretty nice. Yeah. We've got a lot of amenities, and our HOA is, like, nothing. Yeah. Like, nothing. And we, I would say we both live near, like, we don't live in big cities, but, but even we in, have availabilities of like yeah. our like in my town we have like Target and Walmart and Do you? Pet, oh yeah and Wilson oh. yeah not in the country <laughs> we but don't. it's like literally like <laughs> <laughs> she clearly didn't know that um, but it's like literally like fifteen minutes away from my house so it's like I get to like 
get away yeah. without having to like drive a oh, whole that's hour. Nice. Oh yeah. Yeah, we don't have that. So. We're in Clayton. <laughs> But it's up and coming. But I will say, I yeah. lived in Raleigh, which is a big city, yeah. and our mortgage for our three bedroom house was seven hundred and fifty dollars a month. Yeah. So you can't. That's a big city. You know, like about like downtown. If you ever come visit, please. Like downtown Raleigh is happening. All kinds of things yeah. going on there. So, all right. So those were the top five things that we love about North Carolina. Yes. Now it's we're gonna talk about long. yeah. <laughs> well, we got excited. I know. I mean, we, this is why we love these it. These ones are like the opposite of what we just said. So we'll go through these maybe a little quicker. Yeah. Um, so keep watching. <laughs> don't hang up. Yes, hold it's on. It's not a phone. It's but almost But don't done. end it. <laughs> She's working on like no sleep. I don't even know what that is because <sighs> so I get lots of so sleep. So tired. Okay. <laughs> Number one, mm -hmm. we'll say it together. There's, There's no, no in and, and out. out. I mean, hello. Get, what is up yeah, with that? Yeah. In and out people, if you're watching, you guys need to bring some this way. You will get filthy rich from us alone. <laughs> Just bring it over. We don't have one. <laughs> yeah, please. We need it out this way. Uh -huh. um, speaking of the sea, when we talked about the seasons, lots of bugs. Um, oh, I hate gnats, the bugs. fire ants. Um, there are bees mosquitoes. here. Oh. The carpenter bees? I'll get to the mosquitoes. Oh. The bees here are like this big, this big. Do you see that? They're you see my fingers? Bees. They're harmless. They're huge, but they're huge. And they buzz in your ear. And it's so, like, you know, the bees in California are like teeny little babies. And the ants here are huge, huge too. Yeah. Yeah. They're just like carpenter bees. They don't do it, but they're, they but they're are big. Huge. Yeah. The spiders, we have really big spiders, like the wolf spider. Wow. I killed one in my house the other day, like yesterday. It was on the carpet, it was blending in, and I looked, and I'm like, what is that? Is that a spider? It was like a whole ordeal no. trying to kill yeah. the spider, and Jimmy yeah. wasn't home, and so, oh my gosh, they're huge. Um, so we just have bigger bugs. We've got the cop yeah. copperhead snake. Right oh, there. yeah. We do have a lot of snake snakes. Copperheads and the black oh. snakes, which are completely harmless. Yep. Copperheads. But see, oh, living no. in the country, you have all of nature around you that takes care of all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, you know, it's a balance. Yeah. Yeah. But I welt Either up way, from the bugs. mosquitoes. <laughs> I will get eaten alive, and I will welt up to the size of a baseball in it's each she's spot. she's so sweet. Yeah, it's true. And they really, really enjoy my sweet blood, and it's go. absolutely horrible. So I hate the bugs okay. so it, they're just yeah. starting to come out yeah. now just starting um the other thing is the beach is too far living in orange county and la county i mean the beach was like a hop skipping away and yeah. now um we have to drive like two two and a half hours like that's far mm -hmm. <laughs> i know that sounds crazy to say but it really like when you grew up next it to the beach far. it's very far well, you're looking at like four to five hours of driving time yeah. total that's a big chunk of your day you're yeah, driving absolutely but there's no traffic that's true. So. <laughs> it's a pretty drive, too. <laughs> so there's a little give and take. So. I know. We still go to the beach. Yeah. We and, just complain and about the it. The other thing, too, though, is a lot of people um, that live here in North Carolina, they vacation at the beach. Yeah, they'll Where stay in California, tonight. it's like a, a way day. of living. Mm -hmm. but it's And it's a way of living. Like, mm -hmm. you live at, like, it's the thing to live at the beach or to have someone mm -hmm. that lives by the beach. So, mm -hmm. um, so yeah. So the beach is too far. Yeah. Um, what else? Humidity. She likes it. I don't mind it. Jimmy loves it. He yeah. loves to sweat. When it's humid out, I'm like, oh, it's so <laughs> muggy. He's like, I love it. I'm like, why? <laughs> it's terrible. Because you get to sweat without working out for it. So that's yeah. kind of nice. I, I absolutely hate the humidity. I don't mind it. <laughs> what I don't like is the cold. Yeah, so when yeah. we get to the part of January and mm, it's like winter it's time, cold. Have I ne I've never owned as many <laughs> hoodies, mm -hmm. long socks, mm -hmm. and beanies mm -hmm. in my entire life. Like, yeah. I'm covered for like four months. I still don't have a proper because it's horrible. Coat. Oh, see, and I don't I, even because I'm just like in you denial. Find one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're expensive. It's cold. Anything below sixty-five, and this Mexican is too cold. It's just too cold. Like I just not not a fan. Yeah, I mean it'll but, get down to like the teens. Oh, twenty. I think it like, got down to like four this winter. Uh, oh, I don't even know what that day. is. People like in a, like in Alaska and like Canada oh, and like quitting. all those places, like they're just like ah. I know yeah. people. Yeah. People who are watching this in like Minnesota are yeah. just laughing. Yeah, they're like it's still snowing here. It's okay <laughs> because we're still true Californians. That I know just you can't, can't. You can't mm -hmm. take it out. You can't. So I didn't realize I loved the cold because in California, like we never got the cold. So I always like assumed I loved the cold. But then we got here and I'm like, <laughs> I'm 
I'm so cold. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's like legit cold. Yeah. Yeah. In California, it's just California cold. Like yeah. it does the, it's not wet and dewy like it is here. Yeah. But it's so pretty when it does snow and so it peaceful. It is so pretty. Yeah. And so it's really I get nice. Ex I get excited when I'm like, oh, we're going to have a snowstorm. Everything closes down. True. And you don't drive just, anywhere. Like, enjoy it. We just go outside and then it melts the next day. So it's really great. Yeah. And you make snow cream. Have you made the snow no. cream? No. Oh. I'll have to teach her that. We're going to make snow cream. Yay. Well, we have to wait till winter. Yeah. Um, but then. I think that was it. Did we say this one? Oh, we said that. Well, we, we were comparing it to Fast Pace yeah. in California. Oh, no, we did say that. Yeah. I think that was it. Those are our top five. <laughs> if they were five, we're not even sure. We're not enough. sure. You count and let yeah. us know. Let us know in the comments what your favorite Yay. top five things about where you live. And if you live in California, what did we miss from our mm -hmm. list? Let us know. Mommy. All right. Well, thanks for having me. Yeah, it thanks was for fun. Coming. Yeah. And thanks for watching. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe by clicking the subscription button and also click the bell so you get notified when I upload more of my vlogs. Remember to follow Emma. Go click on hers. I will po post it here in the comments below or in the this description This might be box. the first video on my vlog because it's just getting started. So I got to learn from the pros. Go, so. Yeah, I'm not a pro, but go show her some love. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.